Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story, and we're talking to the man that I think every man and every DIY woman wants to talk to. <laughs> Lou Manfredini is probably the most popular person I think I know of who's on TV, on radio. He's the DIY guy, the expert on how to do it yourself, but also how to do it safely and get your projects accomplished. I'm a huge DIYer. Uh, yeah, I know you probably figure like, what? She is? But actually, yes, I do things DIY. So how are you today, Lou? I'm terrific. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. But I have a question. If you're a huge DIYer, and, and this is something we can talk about today, when you do anything, tell me what you think about when it comes to doing it safely. Do I do everything, anything when it comes to safety? That's a good question. For, um, your, for yourself. In other words, if you're, give me an example of a project you may do around your Oh, Oh, um, if I'm st like refinishing furniture or something okay. like that. Yeah. Um, I will wear gloves. I'll put down protection for the area and usually I'm out someplace outside or else I'm using uh, a HEPA filter to make sure that I don't get any fumes and get sick from that. Right. Do you ever wear like a respirator while you're doing staining or anything like that? No. Uh, no. Do you ever wear eye protection over your eyes so that when you're staining, something doesn't fling up into your eye? Well, I would usually wear glasses because uh, I want to make sure no, that no, 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 not glasses, not glasses, safety glasses. Oh, no. Let me ask you this. You wear, okay, so you wear glasses. Have you ever gotten anything in your eye when you're wearing your glasses? Yes. Uh, well, not when I'm wearing my glasses, but I've gotten, <laughs> gotten it. I've gotten things on my glass lenses, which has not right. been a fun thing. Here, here's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm joking a little bit, but this is a, a typical response from people that do this. People say, oh, I do stuff all the time around my house. I, you know, I cut my own lawn. I trim my own lawn. I, I paint. I refinish. Uh, like what you're saying, uh, it's something like 43 million DIYers. That's what we have in this country. This year, they're estimated to do 57 million projects. And then get this. 3M and the Home Safety Council partnered together, and they found out in talking to a bunch of people, one in five said, oh, yeah, I've been hurt when I do stuff around my home. Now, you take that one in five, and then you put it against the 43 million, that's a ton of people. Absolutely. I mean, and so what I'm talking about today is, look, you want to get it done right, get it done safely. The simplest thing you can do, Stevie, is wear safety glasses. This is something, we, we just get two sets of eyes. And if you're cutting the grass, if you're doing any kind of sanding, if you're using a power tool, it is a split second for something like that to get into your eye, even if you're wearing your glasses that can jump up underneath where you have your glasses and all of a sudden get inside your eye and cause serious damage. One of the big knocks has been that safety glasses were bulky, they were uncomfortable, they fogged up the whole nine yards. So 3M Tech Protection designed these really cool safety glasses that look like stylish sunglasses, I mean the kind that you use outside. Oh, I love it. They also have the kind that are clear, so if you want to use them inside. They start at under $10, then they kind of go up from there. It's the simplest right. thing you can do to protect your eyes. And I want people, you know, you say the word get into a habit and everybody thinks that's a negative. You got to get in the habit of, I'm doing some work, I'm popping my glasses on. What's well, important, and you make a val really valid point because I know that um, I can't say that my husband, when he has done a lot of projects, that he hasn't had a few accidents. And I'm sitting there going, <laughs> right? Going, ah, uh, and it's how much blood is this? Right. right. Now, the thing, too, with that refinishing that you're talking about, if you're doing a piece of furniture or whatever, you, you absolutely, and people don't, just because you're outside, you're leaning over that chair, you're leaning over that table, you're applying that stain, more than likely it's uh, uh, a, an oil based stain of some type with the distillates in there and the chemicals, a good respirator mask like this makes a world of difference so you're not inhaling all that stuff. There's this uh, cool flow valve on the front. What's cool about this is normally when you wear a mask like this and you're breathing out, the air kind of comes up by your eye and the safety glasses I want you to wear start to fog up. So what do you do? You take it all off and now you've defeated the whole thing we're talking about. That exactly. valve allows you to breathe out, protects you from inhaling all that stuff, especially if you're sanding and you breathe easier, and then you're not like wheezing at night when you go to bed. And that is a big deal. 
Mm-hmm. That is a big deal. I hadn't thought about it quite that way, but uh, you're right, because I remember when I used to would do stuff, I have to... Yeah, I would have breathing problems. Right? See, this is simple stuff. And then one other thing with people doing stuff around their homes, lawn and garden time, right? Very popular. People are out there doing all oh, that sure. kind of stuff. So um, decibel levels. It's always, you know, when you throw these numbers out, people don't understand what decibel levels are. So if you're using a string trimmer or a blower, you know, doing your, your gardening, it has a decibel level of about 85, okay? Put that in perspective. If you're standing along a railroad track about 15 feet away and a locomotive goes flying by, that's 90 decibels. Wow. That can hurt your ears. Uh, disposable earplugs. These are little earplugs that you roll in your fingers, you stick them inside your ears, they expand out. It can cut the decibel levels by up to 32. They've got these earmuffs, kind of like what they use on... Uh, you know, the tarmac at an airport, but these work tunes, they're called, uh, is an AM FM. It can also plug in your MP3 player. So you can crank out the tunes while you're doing work around your home. Oh, I like that. Yeah, really fun. I mean, and this is all basic stuff. I mean, what I, uh, the message I want to put out there, Stevie, is that to practice safety when you're doing stuff around your home does not cost a lot of money. Uh, and, and you get some of these products here and you put them, um, you know, handy next to your tool belt, wherever it may be, you've got them all ready to go when you're doing projects around your home. Exactly. And it actually makes so much sense. It's so easy. Right. Yeah. I mean, to your point, nobody thinks about this stuff. They, they're, we're all in a hurry. We want to do this. We want to save money. We want to get it all done. But all it takes is one accident, one mistake, and then you regret it the whole time. And what I want to do is I want to empower people to do things themselves. I want them to do it safely so that when they get done with one project, they're like, wow, look at all that stuff I did. Look at how nice my house looks. And the project went great. I'm going to do it again. If you get hurt doing it because you didn't take the necessary inexpensive safety precautions, you're never going to do it again. And ultimately, it's going to cost you more money and you're going to get injured. Exactly. I mean, it's like we take more time and spend more time protecting the area where we're working. Right. Inside the house or right. outside. Right. Exactly. And we do ourselves. Exactly. Which exactly. doesn't make much sense. No. Right. Right. Oh, put the tarp down. Make sure we cover the bushes so we don't damage the bushes. How about your eyes? How about your ears? How about your lungs? How about gloves to protect your hands, depending on what you're doing? Uh, you know, you, you don't cut your hand or you don't, some branch doesn't jump up and put a cut in your hand or, you know, you don't lose the grip of a power tool when you're using them. These are simple things. Don't cost a lot of money. You know, I, I was joking about this. Um, you know, if Mother's Day and Father's Day is coming up, instead of a tie, instead of a box of chocolates, how about you get a bunch of this stuff and put it in a little basket and say, here, Mom, Dad, you love to do all this stuff. Make sure you're protecting yourself when you're getting this work done around the house. And that's a great gift. It's something they're going to use. Absolutely. I'm telling you, you're going to come by, and they're going to be wearing the stuff, using the stuff, and then you can help protect them as well. Way cool. Way cool. So you have your website, which is? Well, the website to learn all about this is 3M Tech, and that's T E K K dot com. Okay. And there's all kinds of information about the different products, safety tips, what you should know, and, uh, you know, to let you know where you can find all the stuff home centers, participating hardware stores. It's available by a company that's been around a long time and knows what they're doing, 3M. Oh, I love 3M. I know I used a lot of their products. Oh, yeah. They're, they're all over this industry, and, you know, they know it top to bottom, not just the safety side of it, but all the products you use to get your work done around the home, from the blue painter's tape to the filters you use inside your home to in increase the air quality of the air you breathe inside Don't your Don't they home. even make sandpaper, too? Oh, they make, yeah, right. They make the yeah. sandpaper that you're going to do the sanding with, and they make the mask to make sure that the stuff you're sanding doesn't end up inside of you. Right, and I know the blue tape. And the blue I know tape. It well. That's all them. So, and then you have your own website. I do. My website's housesmartstv.com for my uh, syndicated television show, and there's a lot of information about... Uh, doing things, improving things, and videos you can see of things we've shot over the years. Okay, people, we'll have links to, the, to both these websites and picture of Lou Manfredini on the, the blog so you can go take a look and watch his TV show. We'll give you, you know, all the information that you need to know. But think about what he's just said. He's just busted me and shown me how unsafe I've been in doing my DIY projects, which... I'm probably safer with myself in terms of makeup than I am in doing D 
DIY, which is really <laughs> not a smart thing. You're right. So listen, for your next project, keep it safe, get it done right, and take some of the advice. I promise you won't regret it. I think you're right. I will not regret it. And people, you want an unusual and interesting and useful gift to give mom or dad for Mother's Day or Father's Day? This is it. We'd like to thank Luma and Fredini for his time today. He's really a great person to listen to and talk to and ask all these questions. This has really been a very interesting interview for me. A wake-up call. So this is Stevie for the LA Story saying, see you soon. Thanks, Lou. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.